So you so what did you do this weekend, Taylor? So this week has been very interesting. I almost have to like write down every literal thing that I do so that I don't be like, dang, I ain't getting nothing accomplished. I did start um I did make myself like a daily checklist that I um that I put together for my business so that I know boom check on these things every day. So that's a bonus. A little bit of organizing that got accomplished. And then the uh, next thing I did was I did my first wedding cake testing. Yay! Wedding cake, cake testing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it was really, really cool. Um, I actually am excited. And you know how you do something new for the first time? You don't really know how to do it. So if anybody's like me out there, I go to the infamous uh, Pinterest or Google or something. And I'm like, um, all right, now, what? how you do this? So I went on to Google and I seen like, some cake tasting um, examples, and I took a little from this and a little from that. Um, obviously, my portion sizes be off because you know how you ever see somebody do like a little dab or something, you'd be like, "Ain't nobody gonna be able to taste that." Mm -hmm. But since you have so many different options, Taylor, you the smaller amounts will work. It's Tuesday. Hey guys, um, welcome to another episode of Tamlin Taylor's Treat Talk Tuesday podcast, where we talk to you about treats, business, and life. We hope that you are having the most amazing week. This week, we are talking about wedding cake taste testing, all right? And we hope that you enjoy the gems that we have for you in this episode. I am Taylor, owner of Taylor's Kitchen, loaded located right here in Albion, Michigan, where we make custom sweet treats for your special occasions. I can be found on all social media platforms at, at Sweet Spirit Treats. Over to Tamla. Hi, everyone. I am Tamla, owner of Torlitas for that sweet and crunchy taste. Torlitas is a dessert company located right here in this great state of Ohio, where I specialize in salty, sweet treats. If you want to know more about me, and my business, please go to at Torlitas. That's T as in Tuesday, O-R-L-I-T-A-S. All right, guys, let's get into this episode. So I realized that, um, but it was a great experience. I'm so excited for the couple that are going to get married. Um, I'm happy that they chose me to make their wedding cake. And it was a great experience. Yes. Nice. What flavors did you have? Okay, so I had a lot of different <laughs> I had a lot of different flavors. Um, as you guys know, so I do the farmers markets weekly. So I'm always having something in my refrigerator, right? So I did um I had peach cake, lemon cake, uh chocolate, vanilla, and red velvet. So nice. those were the cake options. And then I had the corresponding uh, buttercreams. So um, for me, I like to keep things simple in my life. So I have one base recipe for buttercream and I make all the flavors from that one base recipe. So um, I had strawberry, lemon, cream cheese, um, cinnamon, and nutmeg, buttercream. And I had some different... Um, fillings so like raspberry strawberry and caramel and they picked an unusual combination but let me tell you when they left I tried it and I was like this is delicious but if you just say it it doesn't sound very good but when you eat it it tastes like summer and happiness and like comfort it was like peach cake with raspberry filling and then the cinnamon and nutmeg buttercream. Oh, wow. And I don't know how this all went together, but it tastes like a whole summer vibe. It was delicious. Wow, I bet that was, that's incredible. When are they getting married? It was, they're getting married later this year. So in a couple of months. So they're planning everything and getting it all worked out. 
it's gonna be a fall wedding that which is combination really nice. seems like everything and right. when you say it it does seem like a lot but mm-hmm. just thinking about how it all marries together right no and so like little hints of peach <laughs> And like li- like notes of like raspberry, and it's like really light. And then like that cinnamon nutmeg buttercream. It's like mm. it was delicious. Mm. I that it. sounds I tried. good. I'm gonna add that to my flavor list. I don't know. That's one of those flavors that you're like, here, here take a sample. And then when they take the sample, they be like, oh, give me some more. But before the sample, they might be like, mm. I'm like, it's peach cake. And they're like, what's the red stuff? Like, just taste it. Just taste it. It's delicious. It sounds superb. It sounds like a wedding that I would remember if I had that cake. Hmm. I I never expected this combination before. So, So, yeah, it sounds like a a definitely a cake to remember at a wedding because, you know, a lot of people remember certain things about the wedding. The cake is besides the bride and groom is one of the things that people look forward to now are you going to do individual slices is it going to be tiered is it going to be takeaway it's going to be a beautiful uh one tier cake they know like the design well i got free range with the design but like it's like a soft color palette so it's not like too bright and bold but it's like you know just like elegant and simple and then they were like but the flavor we want the flavor to be amazing like the cake we want it to be picturesque but the flavor we want the flavor to be mm, delicious so that's how they came up with that how did you get in contact with this uh new well well how would you say um (laughs) soon to be married couple Newlyweds? Newlyweds. Oh, well, kind of yeah, newlyweds, they can't be newlyweds yet. Okay, they're, no, gonna they're be, not. <laughs> they're not. The engaged. The engaged couple engaged. contacted me. Um, I have made... <laughs> the engaged couple uh, contacted me. Um, and then I set up a... Um, uh, well, we kind of discussed what they wanted. And, you know... Um, I don't know if everybody does this, but if you're a home baker, if you're doing cakes and stuff, um, at first I didn't used to do like questionnaires and then I had to get my life together because like, you know how you miss like a couple of details and you're like, oh, what time do I drop it off? Where do I take it to? How much is this? How much is that? You know, how far I got to uh, travel? I is there any help? This? Yeah. Right, right, right. So, um, I ended up, uh, I have a system now, shout out to the systems, um, where if somebody wants a custom cake for me, they can go to my website and they can fill out the inquiry form. Or if they want a treat table or anything else, they can fill out the inquiry form and then it'll send it all the information to me and that will help me price. It'll help me with what questions to ask. And that's kind of what made it for me to be like, wow, they, they, rob- they don't really know they just like they want flavor but they don't know which flavor so I was like let me just recommend you know a cake tasting for them and so that's kind of how it like all came about so it worked nice. out perfect now did, uh, did the couple actually tell you what their what, kind of give you an idea of what they liked they did they they um they threw out a couple different flavors so I made sure I had those flavors that they did throw out that's why I did the red velvet and the chocolate cakes but I often but then I often think about like cakes that I made in the past and like what's my most popular flavors so I wanted to make sure that I had those on the board too just so they can taste like that combination so like my most popular cake that I sell will most likely be strawberry or vanilla so I'm like, let me at least put them on there so that they can try them, you know. And so it worked out. Nice. So tell me this. How do you price your wedding cakes? 
Um, how do you, what's the time frame when you start getting ingredients and things like that together? How many slices um, do you uh, <laughs> suggest for your particular cakes? It's going to be a square cake, round cake. I have all these questions. I have all these questions. Uh, so as far as like wedding cakes, I use a template on um, uh, from a website and that really helps me narrow it down. So on this website, I can put in my ingredients. I can put in how many um, people I want the cake to feed and it'll show me like what I need for the amount of people. And so that really helps me out a lot. It saves me a lot of thinking. Um <clears throat> And it tell and it actually you can get like say it is a square cake, it'll give me an example of the square cake and say, um, you know, like a wedding, they would do like one by one pieces. Um, if it's a party, they'll do like one by two if it's a square cake. And so it actually helps me out with knowing how many um pieces are per the tier of the cake instead of me having to remember all of the different you know amounts so um i definitely use that um i want to say the the designs and everything as you know everything costs a lot <laughs> so um it's certain questions you gotta ask do you want real flowers or do you want artificial flowers do you want flowers at all you know do you want a cake topper do you want to say bright and groom you know like how how do you want this you know to go about and so um i always offer a uh, delivery because you got a lot going on that day i don't think you would want to come and pick up a cake or if you send somebody will it be safe at least if the baker does it they might be able to like fix it you know mm -hmm. once and so definitely it's lots of questions um but it worked out it was really nice you have to style the cake table. Um, would you get there how far in advance to set up? And as my as uh, one of my friends says, make, make room for mistakes. So what's your timeline of setting up and all that good stuff? So just like when I give people timelines to uh, like windows to pick up a cake, say for instance, if they say I need it by three o'clock, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set up this time that they can come between two and four just because I know people, right? So I'll say, hey, you know, I'll give myself a time window so that they will be able to have time and I'll be able to have time in case they don't show up and I won't be mad and I won't um, not want to give them their cake, okay? So we set up time when <laughs> time frames, <laughs> time frames for these things and I don't have, I do not have to set up the table or anything that will already be, be done. You know, what I did forget to ask them is if they wanted like to rent a cake stand. I had not thought about that because that's a question that I'm going to go back and ask since we got a little bit of time. Because if you have this beautiful cake and you have no cake stand, it kind of doesn't go together. So I'll definitely ask that question. It's so many things to think about once you're getting like, <clears throat> even like just the cake, like the flavor, the design, you know, the size of it, how many guests you're going to have. Do you want more cake for the guests? Do they not really eat cake? You know, so many different things to consider. So I yeah. actually forgot that one. Well, I'm glad you remembered it. And still, like you said, it's still time to um, ask right. the, the couple, you know, what would they prefer? Another thing is, do you think that making a faux cake layer, is that something you're going to consider this time with this cake? Um, no, because they said that they wanted a small cake. So um, it's going to be like an intimate gathering. So I don't need to... Um, have it all prestige and pretty one question that they did ask when we first started was what was fondant and i'm like man a lot of people get confused about like just having a fondant cake 
versus a buttercream cake. And so I did have to explain that. And I explained to them that I make my own fondant for marshmallows. And so um, they did not choose to go with fondant. But um, you know how people make that face? They're like, what is fondant exactly? And does it taste good? <laughs> is it tasty? So um, we definitely had that uh, discussion at the beginning. But yeah. Yeah, fondant, I used to say fondant, fondant. <laughs> fondant normally gets a bad rap. It looks pretty. Mm -hmm. It's very, I mean, if you want all the bells pretty. and whistles. Yeah, pretty uh, bells and whistles with all the designs and mm -hmm. all the cutouts and things like that and all the different colors and stuff like that. It's really exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's definitely pretty. And it just... Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to make black fondant because I feel like it's kind of a waste of food coloring. I did find one brand that does not have taste and it like works, like it holds up. <laughs> Look at your face. And then I even saw some people that um that use half, half of the homemade fondant, of the regular fondant, and then they kind of like knead them together just so that they can um, get like more flexibility. And so it kind of just depends on the situation and depends on if they like it. Because if I had to make like 50 pounds of fondant for like a 10 tier cake, I definitely would um, require some assistance in the fondant department. But yeah, like you said, some of it looks really pretty and it tastes absolutely, absolutely disgusting. Like that, uh, I'm not going to say it. I'm not gonna say the name brand, but some of it is just it's just for it looks. Start like you be like ah a s. You're just gonna peel that back and then you know eat the cake and the buttercream. I don't like that one that starts with the s. Okay, <laughs> we'll leave it up to our uh, audience to do <laughs> the process Google, of elimination. <laughs> Google fondant that it starts with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's good. Um, I think that, you know, when you're in business, you're in business. What? Why are we in business, everyone? Put it down in the comments before I say it. I'm going to give you a little bit of time. And we're in business because to make money, right? Even though it's a scary topic, nobody wants to <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> You know, everybody said, oh, I just love doing what I do. Yes, you can love what you do, but when you're in business, you have to make a profit. So, you know, mm -hmm. think about these things when you're talking with your guests or with your client, your new client or client, your current client, about their expectations and how it's going to fit into what their budget is. And also, you know, make sure that it's, you know, it's going to fit into what you have a desired outcome as far as your budget, because your time and your expertise is something that obviously they want. So make sure that it's going to be a win-win situation. Definitely, definitely. I think those are, are all very, very valid points. And thank you for asking me about this uh, cake tasting, because it was a cool experience. And I definitely feel like it's something that like everyone should do and they should go about just like building like small experiences inside of you know getting ready for matrimony so you can just have lots of good memories and who doesn't like to just taste cake a cake platter sit in front of me with frostings and fillings delicious I think that's delicious <laughs> I've been seeing mm-hmm <laughs> I've been seeing uh, the favors when people take the cake home, how they have mm -hmm. like these sliced cake slice boxes. They're clear. And I think that's a yeah, nice. I've seen... Yeah, I yes. think that's a nice um, item to um, for your guests as well, because and you have, you know, your traditional cupcakes that people enjoy. I've seen people do that. I've even seen now a lot of people are doing pies, like different pies for their, if it's like a pie. summer wedding. Oh, yeah. Um, pies also is a new trending item for summertime weddings, like a peach mm -hmm. 
pie, a cherry pie, an apple pie. And there's so many different types of pies that people really, it's something different, right? You know, everyone loves cake or they prefer a cupcake, but what about a slice of pie? I don't know anybody who doesn't like some sort of pie. Maybe not the ones mentioned, but there's tons and tons more, like a key lime pie. That would be so good. My favorite. Let me tell you, that's my favorite. Cream pie. Really? My, my favorite is key lime pie. And like every year they're like, yes, we don't have to find anybody to make Taylor a cake because she likes key lime pie. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should make a key lime pie cake. I saw somebody do that and they took a whole key lime pie and they made cake layers and they put buttercream and they put the whole pie in the middle. And then they put the buttercream on top. It looked delicious. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I think I'm going to do it. It looks so good. I'm going to do it. Anywho, let's continue. Okay, so pies are great. Um, Wedding, wedding favors. I I'll feel like you. it would kind of be messy, though. Because if you do like a slice, they don't really look as clean as like when you do a cake slice. Now those little individual pies from like the big box stores. That might I be wonder if option. some people take I wonder if some people take those and put like a design and put it in another box. I'm Possibly. just saying it's possibly it's, it's a smart it's a smart idea. People buy cakes and things from those big box stores, you know, not decorated. So why wouldn't they? I never thought about asking for undecorated cakes. Some people just don't like to bake. And I think there is definitely a market for, I'll bake your cakes, you decorate them. You know, that is smart. That'll save you so much effort and energy. But once you decorate them, it's all your name. My problem would be, listen, don't put my name on it if I didn't do like, like all of it. Just say, oh, this cake is good. It's nice. Yeah, I made it. I wouldn't even mind if you took credit for it. Because if you like messed up the design, then I don't want it to be like reflection of me. Mm. That's a good thing, too. Like, hey, yeah, I made the cake. What? That'll work. Or I can just show people how to make cakes. And as well. That will work as well. That will work. <laughs> Definitely one of the goals I'm moving towards for the end of the year. Sounds good. More classes. I like that idea. So we hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you are in the Michigan area and you are looking to get your wedding cake done, you can definitely contact me at Taylor's Kitchen, uh, located in Albion, Michigan, where we make custom sweet treats for your special occasions. And as always, thank you to my lovely co-host, Tamala, who is going to say her farewells for this week's episode. Well, first of all, thank you, Taylor, so very much for sharing with us about all this exciting wedding cake tasting and how you're going to decorate and all that good stuff for uh, this upcoming uh, wedding. Um, it was really enlightening to see and hear um, how you go about doing all of that. So thank you for sharing. I am Tamala, owner of Torlitas for that sweet and crunchy taste. If you want to know more about me and my business, please go to at Torlitas, that's T is in Tuesday, O-R-L-I-T-A-S. Yes. All right, guys. So as always, we would like for you to have a blessed week. If you have ever done a cake tasting, let us know down in the comments what you thought about it, how your experience was. And if you are about to get married sometime in 2023, congratulations. Or if you had just gotten married uh, throughout the summer, congratulations as well. All right, guys. Have a blessed week. Bye. Bye.